Just quickly, Bernoulli's theorem, Bernoulli was a Frenchman, the syllabus talks about Bernoulli's theorem in relation to lift. What it means is, you see it in yachts, you see it in, um, you, it, it is the reason, one of the reasons why aircraft fly, but it's often used incorrectly to state the obvious. So, what it actually is, is here is a Venturi. I've got a mass of air flowing through here. The power in that is obviously constant because it's pumping through at a constant speed. There's a constant momentum in behind the gas in each point. Force times velocity. Um, that's how I put it earlier. The power is constant, pressure times um, flow rate, mass flow rate is constant in pumps. It's constant in fluids. That's your power. The power is pressure times mass flow rate. It's not in your syllabus. However, let's simplify this equation. Outside there's a static pressure. Inside there's what they call dynamic pressure, which is the density, rho, times the velocity squared. In here, let's say that's going, I don't know, that quick. In here where the Venturi narrows, it's got to be travelling quicker to get the same mass flow through. Yes? Row 1, velocity 1. The V2 squared times the density at that point is the same as this one. So what happens is, as the velocity increases, the density decreases. As the density decreases, the pressure decreases because there's less air in the same volume. Yes? That's Bernoulli's theorem. And out here, of course, it goes back slow again. How is this used in aircraft? First up, as I said, that very first introductory lesson, when I simplified Bernoulli's theorem, this is not what happens. If I have air all flowing past a point, there is a wing, quite often it's in texts that because it takes longer distance to fly over the top, shorter distance underneath, that one's velocity is lower, Velocity is higher because velocity is higher. But early says it must be higher, higher um, pressure there, lower pressure there, the plane gets sucked up because at the end it says the incorrect theory that everything's all lined up. As we now know, the air does flow faster over the top wing, but it doesn't meet up. If I've got stuff in a line, that's out here and this stuff's maybe about here. That air is there. So that air has already turned the corner, disappeared off the wing. This is still making its way. Why? Because that's lower pressure. In here there is that area of vacuum that accelerates through, keeps, stuff, keeps the air, let me use technical English because we are in year 12, keeps the fluid accelerating towards it till it gets to the very end. So up there, that is a higher speed, most definitely equals a lower density, equals a lower pressure at that point regardless. Yeah, because the air is accelerating past it, it is going faster. It is generating lower pressure. Underneath, why doesn't it travel so quick? Because that's higher pressure. That's pressure. The pressure too is greater than the pressure at the front, which means it's pushing back and it's fighting momentum trying to get through. Yeah? So that's Bernoulli's that's Bernoulli's theorem as it applies to lift. 